To prevent infection with the coronavirus, people have been buying masks, sanitizers, and simply staying at home instead of going out. When it comes to protecting yourself, it can be hard to know what's the best way. And to be sure, there's a lot of misleading information online. So our Che Jung Yun asked some professionals. Infodemic. That's how the World Health Organization described the huge numbers of stories about the coronavirus, referring to an overabundance of information. Some stories are accurate and some are not. It's making it hard for people to find trustworthy sources. Fears surrounding the virus have been amplified by social media. One of many questions is whether the virus can spread through public toilets. The answer is no. The virus is transmitted by droplets from a patient. It can infect the person through contact with the skin. But people should flush the toilet with the top down and always wash their hands after using the toilet and try to avoid touching their eyes, nose or face. Some worry about catching the virus from their pets. However, the types of coronavirus that cats and dogs can catch are different from those that affect humans. While animals have problems with their digestive systems due to coronaviruses, the novel coronavirus rather causes fever and respiratory problems. While we don't yet have a cure for COVID-19, coronaviruses that affect animals are easily curable. And the new epidemic is not communicable between humans and animals. The coronaviruses animals have don't affect humans, and there have been no reports of COVID-19 being transmitted between humans and animals. Online, there have been rumors that the virus can be prevented by taking vitamins and substances like ginseng that boost immune systems. However, there's no prevention or cure for the virus at the moment. Antibiotics work on bacteria but cannot stop viruses such as COVID-19. Vitamins and medical herbs can boost your immune system. It's the same for exercising and eating well. But while these substances strengthen the immune system, they don't cure the virus itself. Certain medicine prevents the virus from sticking to respiratory cells, but that's just lowering the chances of infection. Washing your hands is the most effective way to prevent infection. While there's some debate over whether soap or hand sanitizer is more effective, experts say there's not much difference. According to a recent experiment, 96 percent of bacteria were eliminated by washing one's hands for 30 seconds. Sanitizer killed 95 percent of germs. Experts say soap is effective enough and sanitizers are recommended for their convenience. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News.